Cod are found throughout the North Atlantic, a habitat that provides highly variable environmental conditions. In the southern part, cod thrive in temperatures around 20 degrees Celsius, while in northern parts, they live and graze in water below zero degrees. Cod, regarded as a saltwater fish that thrives best with a salinity of around 35 parts per thousand, can also tolerate fresh water, such as that found in the Baltic Sea, where they live and spawn with salinity levels of 9 to 13 parts per thousand. These adaptations and others in different populations of cod have occurred over generations, and it is important to understand that they do not apply at the individual level. We normally divide cod into two groups, North Atlantic cod and coastal cod. North Atlantic cod, often called scray, has a large distribution area from the Barents Sea to the Murrah Coast and consists of large populations. Coastal cod, on the other hand, is divided into many groups, which are more or less isolated from each other, each usually in their own fjord. The cod's life cycle is normally divided into four stages, the egg and larval stage, the free-swimming fry stage, the rearing stage, which is the period from bottom dwelling to sexual maturity, and the sexual maturation stage. Cod normally spawn in March to April, but this can vary along the coast. Spawning in Norway is most common at water temperatures of around 2 to 6 degrees. The eggs develop while floating in the upper water layers. The time it takes for the eggs to hatch depends on the water temperature. At 7 degrees it takes approximately 2 weeks, while at 2 degrees it takes approximately 4. In the first week after hatching, the free-swimming cod larvae feed on the yolk sac and are dependent on finding nourishment before this is used up. In this phase, the larvae drift with a current while eating zooplankton such as copepods in various stages. The phase in which the cod larva goes from eating the yolk sac to obtaining food from its surroundings is critical for survival. Poor timing between hatching and favourable nutrient conditions can result in mass death and a small population size. From early summer and throughout the year, the fry search for the ocean floor. The exact point in time varies according to temperature and the environment. The process where the cod primarily start living on the seabed marks the start of what we call the cod's growth period. During this period, cod are opportunistic and will eat what is available. In the early days, they most often live in the kelp belt and their diet is dominated by various benthic animals and crustaceans. As they grow, their diet changes to become more fish-based. Large cod like to eat smaller cod. When the cod start the demersal stage, they will go from drifting with the current to actively migrating. The migration is important in order for them to have the best possible environment and nutritional conditions at all times. The length of the migration varies depending on where the cod live. The large populations in the sea have long migration routes over large geographical areas, while coastal cod often only migrate up and down the water masses in a fjord. Survival and growth also vary greatly during this phase depending on how good the nutrient supply is. Especially in periods with limited access to food for larger fish, life is challenging for the fish that have recently migrated to the seabed as they easily become prey for larger conspecifics. The period until puberty lasts from 2 to 15 years. When the cod has reached sexual maturity, it will normally migrate to the spawning areas. It is unknown whether it migrates to the area where it was born, but at least for coastal cod, this seems to be common. Spawning takes place when a male and a female swim with their bellies towards each other while the eggs and milt are sprayed out and are mixed together by the powerful blows the fish makes with its tail. Cod batch spawners, which means that parts of the row mature at a time. While the male is mature from the start and ready to spawn throughout the period, the female needs a few days before the next round of eggs is ready. After sexual maturity, the cod spawn annually for the rest of their lives unless the conditions are too bad.
The biology of cod as a species shows incredible flexibility and adaptability to different environmental and nutritional conditions. When we are developing the species for farming, this provides good conditions, but it also presents several challenges.